Hi, I'm Chef Stu Paprocki, and this is Quick Meals with me, Stu Paprocki. Good day, taste buds. It's been the worst week of my life since my dad left. I just came from the Backwards Hat Chef's funeral. The eulogy was delivered by an uncle of some sort. He wore his best denim Looney Tunes jacket for the occasion. It was not well attended. Her true crew did not come through. The Backwards Hat Chef deserved so much better. It's not much, but I have decided to make a very special meal to honor her memory. That's why today's Quick Meals recipe is funeral potatoes. As you can see, I'm back at Brooks's pad. I've been kicked out of my apartment by police investigators. They have a search warrant and my girlfriend is being held by the police for suspicion of murder. Murdering the backwards hat chef. Here's what you're gonna need. You're going to need a nine by 13 inch baking pan and if you're going to use store-bought frozen shredded potatoes, make sure to let them thaw at least 30 minutes first. I've already sauteed our onions in a tablespoon of butter. Now it's time to add them to our baking pan. Along with our potatoes, cheese, sour cream, salt, cream of chicken soup, and eight tablespoons of butter. And mix them up real good. Brooks put my girlfriend and I in touch with some super specialized lawyers. Brooks is somewhat of a legal whiz himself. Uh, Brooks really knows his legal loopholes. Crush your cornflakes and then coat them real good with four tablespoons of melted butter. Seriously. Then top your casserole off with your butter coated crushed cornflakes. Then we're going to put these bereaved spuds in our 350 degree oven for 40 to 50 minutes. until it's golden brown and that cheese is real nice and bubbly. You know, the old joke about funeral potatoes is that you're mourning the death of a loved one with a dish that will kill you. It's funny and I'd laugh if I could. Later, we'll eat some tater, but taste buds, I need your help. I really let my girlfriend down when I cheated on her with the backwards hat chef. I will never let her down again. That's why I'm going to prove to the police that she didn't murder the backwards hat chef. And taste buds, we need to catch and punish the person that actually killed the backwards hat chef. Brooks allowed me to use his bountiful selection of arts and crafts supplies. Thanks again, Brooks. He has a lot of heavy duty rope and tape, but I went with red yarn because it really makes my peepers pap. Mitch killed the backwards hat chef. This isn't just a trope. I can finally see it. Let me explain. Mitch took the honeycomb during the honey glazed pork episode. That rascal also stole my good friend Honey Bear right out of my cabinet after he copulated with my girlfriend. Taste buds, honey makes Mitch insane. That's right. Murder has a sweet tooth. It's been right in front of me all this time. The backwards hat chef is just the tip of the iceberg. Mitch hated that I could please Mrs. Vlasic better than him. He killed Mrs. Vlasic and Mr. Vlasic and made it look like a murder-suicide. It was the night I won the freshman spelling bee. That afternoon, Mitch had a bunch of frozen honey banana pops. Mitch went to dental school in Utah. Utah, the honeybee state. I thought Mitch's folks died of natural causes, and the coroner's report does back this up, but they both died of heart failure in the middle of Lithopolis, Ohio's annual Honey Fest. What are the odds? Honey doesn't spoil, and neither will Mitch's taste for blood. Funny, I haven't heard from Kyle in several weeks. I also fear Mitch may have murdered my father. My dad loved me, and I feel like he would have tried to contact me by now if he was still alive. My dad, who loved me, is dead, and my mom, who is a terror that never loved anyone but herself, is still alive. It's not fair. Now I know how the Kardashian sisters feel. Neither the Jacksonville nor St. Augustine police have been helpful. 
Taste buds, we have to stop Mitch before he kills again. I fear his next target will either be his own family or me. Chef Stu Paprocki. Taste buds, there's a lot more I have to explain to you, but right now, it's time to get our funeral potatoes out of the oven. Here's another quick and delicious meal sure to make your taste buds pap. Rest in peace, backwards hat chef. It's been a long week and a nice stiff drink sure would go well with these cheesy tubers. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Well, now all that audiovisual equipment sure makes a lot more sense. Brooks, what the f is this? T Taste Buds, episode over, episode over. If you know anything about Mitch, hit me up on Twitter. Brooks, give me that camera.